Hello, friends. Hi, kitty. We, we're moving. As you guys saw in the last vlog, we are moving. And I am so excited. We're all thrilled. He's so good. I love you. Are you excited? He's a lover. So we are actually going to, it's, today is Friday, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, today is Friday and we are moving not this Sunday, but next Sunday. So we've got like nine days, but we haven't done anything at all. As we start packing, I'm going to start decluttering too. Like as I fill up boxes, if there's anything we don't want, I'm going to make a pile and probably do, you know, a little bit of an Instagram sale with that stuff, um, as well as any clothes. But honestly, we probably won't be getting rid of a whole lot because... I don't want to just like purge all our shit. We're going into a bigger space. So like we don't need to get rid of stuff, you know, but just if there's anything, I am going to go ahead and just get rid of it so we don't have to move it. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm just not excited about packing at all. That's why I'm putting it off. So I don't even know where to start is the thing. I really want to have my dad over so that they can all like see our apartment before we start packing it up. But at the same time, I want to get a head start on packing because I don't want to have to scramble and do it all in like a couple of days. So I think the smartest thing would probably be to start with a closet and just stuff that we're not really using and that isn't like main decor and like the living space, you know? But I have a whole bunch of boxes here, if you can't tell. Uh, Bestie hooked it the fuck up. And, oh, great exciting news that I can go ahead and tell you guys now. I mentioned in the last video that she was potentially going to get this apartment. She is. She got approved. I'm so fucking excited for her. We're both entering new chapters, and we both, like, m manifested this for each other, too, which is so amazing. But, yeah, so she hooked it up with boxes for us because I'm gonna use these to move all of our stuff into the new place and then I'm gonna give her the boxes and then she's gonna move in here. <laughs> Life is crazy. But yeah, basically I'm just gonna, I'm, I don't know. I don't really have a whole lot of time to do anything right now because I am going into the shop. Oh my God, that's more huge news that I did not mention in the last vlog, but we passed everything. All paperwork is finished. The shop is open. The salon is literally open starting on Tuesday. So I am literally starting my new job and I am moving in the same fucking week. It's just gonna be a little crazy. It's gonna be hectic, but you know, I don't even think I have anybody on my schedule for next week, but I did like open my book. So I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, uh, I am top priority focused on moving though. So I guess we just need to start doing the damn thing uh, but yeah I'm going into the salon tonight because other bestie had a hair disaster <laughs> happen to her so I'm gonna fix hers up and then I'm also going to cut Chris's hair just a little bit shorter I gave him a haircut which I'll insert the footage mommy said hell Jimmy. no Jimmy. I can't all right I'm cutting Chris's hair y'all hi oh that feels good look at this let's just right here this is good but he wants to go a little bit shorter. So we're gonna go into the shop and tweak it just a little bit. So that's happening in like an hour. And I also need to cook dinner at some point, but I'm just gonna pack for like 20 minutes maybe and see what happens. So let's go. <laughs>
We got the bestie, we fixed her hair. This is your first time on my channel. Oh my God! <laughs> it looks so cute. I really like it on you, I truly do. Two days later. Hey. hey guys, it's Kaylee and I'm back with Symphony today. Today we're going to Savers. I used to work here and I got fired and then I ended up throwing my apron and saying fuck you to the woman who was managing it at the time. So we're gonna be doing like a little throwback thrift shop time, but yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> YouTuber queen. I love like decorative ones like this. Oh, that's stuffy. <laughs> Ooh, feels comfy. Feels fucking brand new. This is yes. a classic, like, slight gray. Oreo. My yes. favorite color. Love that. Nice. I love the pattern on it. Like, it's not like a pattern, but like, you know what I mean. Wrangler. Dude, those are fucking nice. I love those. Some new fucking car hearts. Dude, the car hearts too. I'm obsessed. And Levi's. Dude, and you just scored. Inside button. Oh, those are nice. And their orange tag. Fuck yes. I just found my dream couch. <laughs> I just bought my dream couch. You just bought your dream couch. Yes! <laughs> Look at, Look at all her clothes. Try on haul coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mom is literally coming up here to help us move this. Thank you, mommy. Thanks, mommy. Yes, bro. I found snacks. my snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I got Morris Pop Tart. I got Cheez Its. And I got fruit snacks. I want fruit snacks. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Bestie moving haul. <laughs> including one of symphony's carpets yeah i took one you have like four to choose from. i no, i know i have to dye a rug i'm gonna dye one of the white ones yes the brown, i'm going with earthy tones i have a brown Bruh. rug from ikea from a long time ago she's gonna be living in my apartment <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah guys oh please fit Guys, she is mine. This is my new couch. Shout out to the mom. We got it in in one go, y'all. We're gonna spray it with some Lysol. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. This is my couch. Oh my god. Yes! They, oh my god, stop. They look so good. Try on haul, try on haul. Damn, okay, booty. Those look so good. They literally fit you perfect. Two for two. Oh my god, those are like the perfect length. They're not showing your ankles too much, but th you know what I mean? Yeah, get it, bestie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, sweater time. Oh yes. Perfect baggy fit, but like Super like you said, tight around the wrist though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, everybody comment if Bestie should start her own channel. I vote yeah. yes. Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> like, subscribe, click the notice button, follow me on Insta, follow me on Twitter, Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Cute. So cute. Mm -hmm. That one's on the tags, too. I know, brand new. Wow. $2.99, y'all. $2.99. I'm so excited. It's Taylor. such a mess in here. Taylor, we need Dude, to show that one is fucking cute. I love I that. Love that. That's so you. Yes. It's like a skirt under it too. Probably mm -hmm. feminine. Yeah. Fire. Oh my god, y'all. Today's vlog has been slightly chaotic. I do apologize. I had a great day with my bestie. Y'all have met both of my besties in this vlog at this point. Got to cut my bestie's hair last night. Got to hang and shop with my other bestie today. So we went to her grandma's house to pick up some free stuff that she had for her. And then we were right by a thrift store. So we were like, let's just hit it up. Like, why not? I was not planning on buying anything. And we just walk in, start looking through some home decor and whatever. 
and then I was like, let's just peek in the furniture, you know? Because, like, since she's moving in here and I'm about to move out, I'm like, let's... I, I was tempted to look in the clothes, y'all. I did not want to look in clothes. And lo and behold, we walk up and I'm like, oh my god, this couch. And then we just got closer and I was like, wait, this is actually the perfect couch. Like, I, I freaked out. Um, and then I looked at the price... Cause I was like, oh, this is probably gonna be at least a hundred dollars, bitch. It was forty, forty dollars for my dream couch. I had been looking on Facebook Marketplace couches exactly like this, and they all started at minimum like three fifty, four hundred. A lot of them even were going for like five hundred to seven hundred. Like, shook. Okay, so I had mentioned in the first vlog of the whole moving series where I announced that we're moving that. My dad had some furniture for us, so he was actually going to give us his old couch because he bought a new couch and he took it off Craigslist for us. And then I found this couch and I just had to message him and I was like, I am so sorry. I said, I, I know this is really last minute. It's literally a week before we're moving, um, but I found my dream couch, so I don't need a couch now. I feel very bad, but he's been helping me so much otherwise with everything, so... You know, I hope that he's able to at least, like, make a little bit of money off his couch. And hopefully he'll be able to get it moved out, too, before his new couch comes in. Because that was also something that uh, he is getting his new couch delivered on the 19th. And we're not moving till the 20th. So it was going to be a little tricky to have to move it anyways. So I already felt bad for that. And now I feel pretty bad that I'm, like, backing out of taking his couch. But we don't need two couches this couch is literally going to be perfect with my pink chair. I'm losing it. I'm going to have the vintage apartment of my dreams. Needless to say, from here moving forward, everything that I get for the apartment is going to be thrifted. I am not buying any shit new, y'all. I mean, like, I'll certain things, of course, like, you'll need to buy new. But as far as, like, furniture, um other like just shit like that I don't want to buy new I want everything to be vintage especially because like as you guys saw the apartment has so much vintage character to it already that I really want to play off of that and then of course you guys have seen my style and you know when we first moved into this apartment I feel like my style was very like boho and I'm really starting to gravitate away from that and more into just the full-on like grandma style mixed with like you know a little bit of like eclectic and a little bit of funkiness here and there but I'm not like boho anymore so the whole vintage style that I've been going for lately is just gonna suit our apartment so well so basically what the plan is so we are eight days away from moving beans you better not piss on my new rug oh yeah Kaylee's grandma gave us this little rug too I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but it's a nice little rug I can throw it somewhere plan for the rest of the week we are officially eight days from moving day um I've been packing so as you guys could see in the previous clips my apartment is an absolute disaster right now it's stressing me out so much and Chris has been getting really bummed seeing me like packing everything because he's like well this was our last week in the apartment like I want to fully live here which I totally hear him and I agree to a certain extent, but also, like, I am trying to get a head start so that when moving day comes, we can just pack up our shit and go. Um, like, pack it up as in put it in the car and go. So, I mean, I'm just gonna very slowly over the next week continue to pack stuff, but honestly, a lot of our stuff is already, like, in bins and stuff like that, so I don't really need, like, I don't need to pack that much it's really just like my decor and the stuff on my shelves stuff in drawers that needs to go into some boxes luckily bestie that i was with today kaylee she has been pulling through on helping us get some boxes and then my other bestie you guys saw last night monica she is going to be getting quite a few boxes i think she said that she has for me which she was going to drop them off today but I think I might just go pick those up from her. And I also had one of my girls at work drop a box off in my chair at the salon that I need to go pick up. So I've got boxes galore. I'm so happy because I have not had to venture out at all myself to go find any. It's been very, very nice. Usually I'm like going to stores being like, 
please give me a Roxas. Uh, so it's nice that I don't have to do that. I'm pretty much good to go. I need to go to my mom's again someday this week. And she has a dining table for us. I don't think we have any dining chairs, but it's fine. But yes, for everybody who always comments on my apartment tour here, I will have an actual dining space. I will have a place to eat. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> but I would always get questions about like, where do you eat? We would eat on our balcony or we would sit in those two chairs over there with the little table that you see. And that's where we would eat. Um, not the best, but you know, we made it work. Anyways, we're gonna have a dining table, but the legs on it need to be refinished. So my mom said that I could come over someday this week and we'll spray paint them. I just don't know like what color I want to go for. I don't know what colors that she has. I have some pastel pink paint. I don't know if I'll have enough to spray the legs of the table, but even if we just did white legs, I would probably really like that. I would either do pink or white, probably. I've been trying to kind of plan how we're going to do our trips on the day of. We're going to have to do at least one, if not two loads, just of furniture. And then we're going to need to do a whole load of plants. There is going to be at least one load that is nothing but plants. And I'm extremely nervous about moving them because I'm worried that they're going to die and get really mad at me. And I'm worried about just the transportation itself is going to be pretty hard. But, you know, we're going to make it work. It's going to be fine. I just wanted to come on here and actually talk to you guys because, like I said, today was a little chaotic. But in the best way possible because I found my dream couch. I'm so fucking happy you guys oh my god i was also so worried that chris wouldn't want me to get it but he was instantly just like fuck yeah because he knows like he literally knows that's the exact couch that i was like trying to find online and i wasn't finding it i wanted it to be floral and everything like a lot of the ones i was finding were just like white or just weird patterns and it's literally the perfect floral with like the pinks and it's a cream color so yeah i also i need to deep clean it my mom says that she has stuff to deep clean um she sprayed it with like lice spray and lysol so that's at least good to go but there it's not even like it's not really stained it does have a little bit of discoloring and then one cushion is definitely looking a little bit rough but we just flipped it over and the other side's fine but if we can revive it and brighten it up and get it as clean as possible i will be very happy very big things um my dad though i'm not taking his couch but he does have another papazon chair and i'm going to go ahead and take that because i think what i'm going to do is put both his papa's on chair and then our papa's on chair onto our balcony because our balcony is huge we'll definitely have the room for it and that way we can have some good seating out there the balcony is going to probably be a whole makeover video in itself because sorry for the ac but um i'm gonna have to cat proof the balcony because we're on the bottom floor and knowing my cats they already have hopped about well, my one cat has hopped balconies before in this building, so I can't have him jumping out and getting loose. I am actually like incredibly anxious about that. Another thing, if you're curious about how I'm gonna do the cats, I think what I'm gonna do is try to move at least furniture and a lot of big stuff out of here first. And then after maybe the first trip or a couple of trips and we get things somewhat in place in the bedroom, then I'm going to move them in there and keep them closed into the bedroom so they can get familiar with that room and we don't have to worry about them getting out as we're moving stuff. I'm going to slowly introduce them to the apartment because cats in general have a very hard time adjusting to moves and they get very stressed out. And we did deal with that with Kitty Man moving into this place. He was very stressed for a couple of days when we first moved in here. So I don't know. I feel really bad. I'm definitely nervous for them, but is overall going to be a really good change. I think they're going to be really, really happy in the new place. So I just want to make the move as easy as possible, not only for us, but for the cats too. So, you know, I've got a good plan going. I think it's all going to go really smoothly. I've never had this much help with a move ever. I'm just, I'm so thankful. And I wanted to say thank you too, also to all of you guys who were so kind on my last video. People are so excited for me. I got so many messages on Instagram too, and I'm just, doesn't go unnoticed ever. None of it ever, ever, ever goes unnoticed, seriously. 
I appreciate it so greatly deep down in my heart. So I'm just so excited to take you guys along on this whole new chapter and show you guys just the whole moving process. That's like, it's so funny because all I've been watching personally on YouTube lately has been moving vlogs. So I feel like that was another way that I kind of manifested this for myself too. And you know, it makes great content. I love watching moving vlogs, so I really hope that you guys will like watching them from me as well. And like I said, you know, it's gonna be a slow process to get our place decorated and to fully feel like a home, but I'm gonna take y'all along every single step of the way and I can't wait. I can't wait. So yeah, um, just wanna check in, but I'm gonna hop off of here. I don't know how many parts I'm gonna break this moving series down into, but I'm gonna try to keep these videos not 40 minutes each. So anyways, I love you guys. Talk to you later, or I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.